Here's the difference between the Malaysian LRT and the New York subway. They have very weird and creative live performance. Our live performance is like normal acoustic. So this is our Malaysian LRT. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's actually better than New York subway. <laughs> this is only dust, like there's no like gross water, rusty. And our LRT is on top of the ground, it's closer to the sky, you have better air ventilation. You can see the sunset. Okay, look at the ceiling. It's so clean. Again, comparing the underground subway in New York, which cover a much larger area than LRT in Malaysia, is like comparing apple and orange, right? But it's actually a surprise to us Southeast Asians living in a country thinking that America always has the better things than us, you know? And when you get out, you just drop a single ride token to the machine, but New York subway, you can keep them. What a waste of paper. And the most annoying difference about the subway is unless you have the unlimited card, if you got on the wrong platform to the wrong direction, you went to the wrong platform, so you had to come out and repeat a new one. Other than the beautiful Grand Central Station that you see in the movies, the grass is not always greener on the other side. In this case, the grass kind of smells like pee. 